Welcome to Around BI. We have talked much about fact table in previous tutorials. What is fact table? Different types of facts. In this tutorial, let's talk about structure of fact table in data warehouse. But before starting, a small recap on what we learned. In our tutorial video on dimensions and facts, we defined facts. We explained that fact is entity that provides quantitative information about business process. That's why they are also called as measurements or metrics. It is mostly numeric in nature. Quantity sold, sales amount, total earning, profit, margin, total turnover are some common examples in facts that we use in data warehouse. If we recall our retail business, we have quantity and unit price as facts and date, store and product as dimensions. Generally, we store dimensional data into dimension tables and numeric measures into fact tables. A fact table stores quantitative information for analysis and is often denormalized. Let's construct a fact table for available data set. As I said that we store numeric measures in fact table. So first part of the fact table consists of business metrics. All the measures go to fact table. With that, quantity and unit price will go as columns in our new fact table. Fact tables are often defined by their grain. The grain of a fact table represents the most atomic level by which the facts may be defined. Our store information is loading data for each day. So here grain is day. We will talk more on grain in another tutorial. These numeric fields do not make sense without dimensions as they hold data that has to be analyzed only with the help of dimensions. For example, quantity sold by store, sales revenue for a date. So certainly we need a link that will join fact tables to dimension tables. And that is second part of fact table fields that will join fact table to different dimension tables. We know that for joining two tables, we need a common data set that should be available in both tables. Generally, we take the primary key field from one table and insert it into the other table where it becomes a foreign key. This foreign key creates relationship between two tables. Clearly, if fact table is associated with three different dimension tables, we have to keep three different sets of foreign keys in fact table that will join these tables. And that is second part of fact table set of foreign keys. We will add date ID, store ID, and product ID as foreign key in sales fact table and will associate dimension tables with these keys. For any table in database, it is recommended to keep a primary key to uniquely differentiate a record. So last part of fact table is field that will work as primary key. It is again a design preference. Sometimes we use a composite key that is made up of all of its foreign keys as the primary key of the fact table. But in data warehouse systems, Surrogate keys are recommended as primary key for fact tables. One way it will work as a single column primary key in fact table and will be helpful as row identifier. We will add a surrogate key in our fact table as primary key and this completes the structure. In summary, while designing fact table, we can divide fact table into three parts or three types of columns. First, a primary key of table. I would suggest a surrogate key here. Second, set of foreign keys that will link fact table to dimension tables. And third, set of metrics that come from business process. It is set of different types of measures, additive, non-additive and semi-additive measures. That's it for now. Please share your feedback and comments with us. Thanks for watching.